What's going on everybody? Dom here and Kyle from Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals. Welcome back to the channel. So what was with that cheesy light gag intro? Well, I kind of just realized that I never actually use the little remote controller that comes with these aperture light kits, even though I use them all the time. So I was kind of just looking for an excuse to take this thing out of the case for once. So that's it everybody. Great video, thanks for coming. No, obviously not. We're just getting started here because this video, I kind of wanted to act as like a live demo for this whole awesome suite of aperture light modifiers that we are carrying for rental now. So not necessarily the fixtures themselves, but all these awesome Bowens mount modifiers and perhaps ambitiously, I titled this video part one because I would really like to revisit a lot of the modifiers that I wasn't able to do in this video in a second installment sometime down the line. The main one I'm thinking about would be doing all the modifiers for Aperture's awesome LED soft panel, the P300C and like the modifiers that come with that. But also in this video, I wasn't able to do the 36 degree spotlight mount. So I would definitely put that in that video. And also kind of speaking of that, that spotlight mount comes with these three little gobo inserts. The big base kit only comes with three, so I think in that next video I would also take out the 10-piece Aperture Gobo kit for that spotlight set. That comes with like a whole bunch more stuff. So anyways, I just thought this video slash maybe video series would be really helpful to have on like our product pages and stuff to just see what like this thing, for example, does because it's easy to look up if a camera can shoot 4K 60 and you kind of know what that means. It's a little bit harder to look up, say for reference, like what type of of throw a lantern softbox is gonna have. So that's why I was actually really excited to do this. And I really hope there is going to be a second installation or this video will just be awkwardly left hanging with the part one in the title. So anyways, let's check out this demo. So the way I'm gonna do this is I have two simultaneous cameras rolling. One is getting like a wide view of like the whole studio area here. And one is obviously going for a much closer up on Kyle's face. I tried to do all these tests at varying distances from like three, six, 10 and 15 feet. But as you can see, some of these modifiers are absolutely enormous. And once I got to like the 10 and 15 feet area, I wasn't able to fully pan them around the room. So I think you'll know what I mean when it comes to those shots. But Otherwise, enjoy.
All right, everybody, that is pretty much gonna do it on this video, showcasing a lot of these different aperture lighting modifiers. And I know it wasn't a perfectly clinical test, but I thought that at least a couple of those shots represented the characteristic that a lot of these modifiers are doing and just highlight the importance of shaping light for video production, but that's a whole nother thing. Anyways, stay tuned for part two. I don't necessarily know when it's going to come out. Next two videos are gonna be pretty exciting ones, pieces of gear I've wanted to get my hands on for a while now. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to be on the lookout for those. And always, if you happen to like this video, hit it with a little thumbs up button down below to let me know you liked it. And of course, if you had any comments or insights about anything you saw in this video, drop a comment in the comment section. But if you didn't do any of that, you could subscribe to the channel. I don't know if you noticed, we're barreling towards that 100,000 subscriber milestone. Maybe once we do hit that 100,000, I'll do something humiliating and embarrassing on video, as if that doesn't happen every other week. All right, everybody, take care, and we'll see you in the next one.